Good morning. My hair is an indicator that I took a shower. Um, wow, what a way to start a vlog. But the first thing I'm doing is not giving you awkward angles. I'm making the boy some oatmeal. God dang it, there's like my curly hair. I'm just gonna make it with some milk. I think I put a lot of milk this time. I don't know, I got milk heavy. And then I'm just gonna throw a little bit of sugar. And the more he likes it, the less sugar I put in it. Cause he was not eating it any other way. Um, but this is such a good source of fiber for my little dude. So throw in the sugar and then give it to him. But I wanna show you guys what I was working on all day yesterday. As you guys know, it's been a process moving into this house because it's just a bigger space and we have a lot more stuff than we ever had our whole life, but it's still not enough to fill this space out. But that doesn't mean that there's not a lot of organizing and because there's so much space, it's like, well, where do we properly put things where it's going to make a good, good flow? You know what I mean? Like if I'm cooking with a good flow, like do I put the... Knives and whatever here. Do I put the whatever, whatever? I sound so fucking old talking about fucking flow. Unless I'm talking about poop flow. That's when you're really old. But just give me till the next vlog. I'll definitely talk about poop flow then. But yeah, um, can't wait to show you guys what I've been working on. I'm very impressed with myself. And I hope you'll be just as impressed as I am. I'm wrapping it up here. Yeah, nothing to see here, folks. Just a boring old Geo doing some boring old mom stuff. I actually enjoy this stuff. I'm also really excited to finish the unpacking and organizing because then I can start leaving the house, exploring with Taika, taking him to different classes, parks and whatnot, hikes, walks. Um, but right now, it just doesn't make sense for me to take off every day. Um and do that stuff with him when my house is a fucking mess. So, we're taking it one step at a time. Okay, anyway, let me feed my son and then I'll get back to you guys. All right, y'all, so here's the first thing I installed. This is the cheapy route when getting a doggy door. For now, we're just gonna do this instead of creating holes in our doors. It's just um, an addition. I have to clean this, but yeah, you just drill it on the top part of the track and then you drill it on the door itself and then it's like this is like the adjuster or whatever for the height since every door is different and then you do the same on the bottom the only hole i had to add on my actual door was like three holes one two and then one in here to lock it but it's pretty discreet you can't tell this thing took me for freaking ever but it's really cool the dogs seem to have adapted since we had one at home, so they like it. So that was the first one. Uh, let me see. The second thing I installed was, oh, Google Home. Oh no, this one, which you guys saw. Um, I am due to get another one today. So I installed it myself. I had uh, the old school, like Honey, whatever brand that is. It's like Honey something. Um, yes, took that off, did all this, and then I installed, let me show you guys what I installed. Oh, security system here. So it's like, so that's either going to be on or. You have one minute to exit. Yeah. Canceled. Yeah, and then that has sensors here, and I put several other sensors around the house. I need to buy um, a couple more so I can put it in other places. But what's really cool with Nest is everything you install has like a little QR code. Um, and yeah, with that QR code, you can add more things to your profile and it's just easy assembly. So it does sound like I did a bunch of shit and I'm really super cool, but I'm not that cool because I make it really, really easy. Uh, yeah, but it's really cool. Like, this is a sensor. 
I'm like, I should be a Nest ambassador, really. So when I open the door, you'll hear, whoops, hold on. A chime. Or if I want to get out quietly. Okay, wait, there's a chime. I don't know what happened there. There's not supposed to be a chime. But yeah, this was really cool because it's just adhesive. I don't have to drill anything to my doors, which, oh, that's a pencil mark, which I really, really like. Um, yeah, so these two work together. It senses when the doors open and close. Um, it's motion sensor also at night. Since it has a motion sensor, this lights up. Um, I could put it on my door and it'll sense uh, the doors opening and closing. I could put it on a window, same concept, open and close, and then I could put it in a corner of a room, which it will sense people or just motion. And it also does take into account pets, which is really, really cool. The other thing I installed yesterday was this. Hey Google, tell me a joke. Why don't people sympathize when your books fall to the floor? Because you only have your shelf to blame. Yep. I'll be here all week, folks. <laughs> yeah, so I did that. I did that in our room and in the living room. What else did I install? I feel like I did so much. Um, what else? Oh, last but not least, I have this that I installed. Dun, da, 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 da. This is the big, big project, y'all. So when I first took off the original one, this thing was this big fat ass gaping hole. So I went to Home Depot, bought like stucco stuff. Um, I patched it all up. I got the paint, I matched it. <clears throat> Looks really, really good, right? Don't pay attention to that, it's crooked just because it's gonna drive me fucking crazy. But yeah, so I had to patch it all up. When I drilled it, unfortunately, since it's not a flat surface, here comes the Monster. This is not a flat surface, kind of did whatever it wanted. Fuck it, I'm leaving it, but. You hear that? There it is. Um, so I had to install this, which was not that hard. Actually, the whole thing was not that hard. Um, so before I could even install that, I had to go to the actual chime box, or whatever that thing's called. It usually looks like this in your house. Looks like that. So I had to climb up and install Nest compatible things in there. Um, so yeah, I'm like really proud of myself. <laughs> I like did all this stuff, it's really, really cool. I'm super excited. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'm like a huge fan of Nest just cause it makes everything so easy. Um, and it gives me the power instead of me having to depend on a bunch of professionals which they're professionals for a reason, but it just costs so much money. And this looks nicer. This is like the app, what, what Apple used to be. This is the Apple, the old Apple version of security system. So I fucking love it. I'm a huge fan. Nest, if you're listening to this, sponsor me. You guys still think this is cute? Still think that's cute? Yeah, you still want a kid? Everyone, oh, he's so cute. He's so cute. Look at that. You're a mean kid. Okay, wait, that's it. That's it? You're gonna fake it? You're gonna lie? You're gonna eat. <laughs> He's arguing with us. Just got back from Home Goods, um, and I want to show you guys what I picked up. These are all, for the most part, necessities. Um, so let's start with this. I got some hooks because I bought a shower curtain. The shower curtain was probably like 13 bucks. Hooks, six bucks. Don't know how well these work, but we'll see. Um, what are these called again? Oh yeah, duh, shower curtain liners. I have three bathrooms that don't have anything in them. Um, vete para allá, vete para allá. Uh, 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 thank you. And then for toilet paper holders, this is because our the other bathrooms 
don't have much space around the bathtub to put anything, so I'll see how those work. Let me see how much were these guys. Yeah, eight bucks. These were 10 bucks. Then I got this for like um, Q-tips, cotton swabs. Uh, how much was this? 10 bucks. Then I got um, organize organized tray so I could put inside of Bart's um, drawer in the bathroom. And then same with this. I think this will probably be better for Bart than this. And then that's for me, for the same thing. That's for my vanity, hopefully it fits because I have a bunch of earrings and crap just kind of all over the place. I got this for Bart's side of the bathroom. It just looks very masculine to me, but like elegant masculine, like James Bond would have something like this. And I just like that it's glass. Which was this? Oh, eight bucks. Which was this? 15, how much was this? 13, how much was this? Six. And then this so I can organize my life. What I'm thinking of doing is putting it in here. Let's see if it fits. If it doesn't, I was thinking of putting it in here. That way everything's, oh, sorry, a little bit more organized. I don't know how that'll work, though. We'll see. Are you yelling at me? Are you giving me attitude? <laughs> he was yelling at one of us. Either you or me. It better not be me. Um, and then I got some towels for the guest bathroom. These are like $19.99 each one. So guest bathroom towels. Trash cans for the guest bathrooms. And then this thing. I got this, it was 60 bucks, and I thought it was gonna be. No, 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 no. But yeah. You mocking me, dude? Croc buddy? Croc buddy? Um, yeah, so 60 bucks. I thought it was gonna be really big, but look at the size of my I wanted to put it in this room. Look at how pathetic that looks. When I saw it, I'm like, oh, it's gonna be pretty big. Yeah. Yeah, nice try, buddy. But yeah, I thought it was really cute. It's just very pastel colors. There's not much going on. It's gold with gold accents. I think it's really cute. Um, I'll probably put it on this wall, but I don't know yet. Uh, oh yeah. I got two other things that I already couldn't wait and I already put it in its place for now at least. Uh, and I was like, oh man, wait, I should be vlogging this. So, hold up, let me show you. So I'm currently organizing our bathroom. But yeah, I got this for Bart, so he could put like, I don't know, little trinkets or his blow dryer or whatever in there. It's marble with a gold accent on the bottom. Looks very chic and elegant. And then I, has nothing to do with what I just bought, but yeah, I was lining all, I got this at Ikea, you guys. Because he tends to put stuff that's wet in here, and then it ruins the wood. So if this is my forever home, I'm gonna take care of this shit. Can you stop, dude? How are you even in here? No, no, no. Thank you. Yeah, I did that. And then I went to Ikea the other day and I bought a bunch of these things. Just to kind of keep his drawers organized and it works out perfectly. So I'm still stocking that up. Okay, so this is what I got for myself that I thought was super cute. I bought this, this little tray. So then I get to put my perfumes in it. These are my perfumes, y'all. This is what I wear if you wanna know what I smell like. Here you go. Here you go. There you go. Now you know what I smell like. Okay, let's go, dude. Yeah, same concept going down here that I did with mine. It's really uh, convenient and organized. Like I'll have face products, lotion, extra stuff. I don't know, I mean, I'm still organizing, but looks neat to me. Really? Oh, really? Come on, <laughs> is this a joke? No more, get out. 
Why? <laughs> because I said so. Get out. Go outside. Take that. Llévate tu juguete. Bye. Bye, Felicia. Be careful. That's about like I was like, oh my God. Bye, Felicia. What the hell? Go outside. Subete. Digo, parate. I couldn't even think of the word. Okay, go outside. Go outside. Are you breakdancing? Go outside. Hurry up. Parate. Wow, you really fear me, huh? Hurry up. <laughs> parate. Look at this. <laughs> Bye. No, no. Closing it. Be careful. Be careful. Oh my god. This fool's getting really creative with this shit. But yeah, what do you guys think about my painting? I really liked it. I think it's so cute. And it's only 60 bucks. How tall would you say this is? I don't know, but it's really cute, okay? I don't know. This is very cute. Hey, what are you doing? Stop! Stop! <laughs> That's not yours! This is mine. You just threw my stuff on the floor. Listen, here, you punk. <sighs> Come here! Come here, you punk! <laughs> be careful, be careful. Quítate los zapatos, you're gonna fall. Quítate los zapatos. came from go outside go go outside go look at this tantrum bajate <gasps> get out come on go outside go outside look at that tantrum go outside vete pa fuera con grandma hurry up go 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 outside with grandma. <laughs> this is his tantrum, okay, you guys? <laughs> I'm turning in circles. This is tantrum. Vete pa' fuera! <laughs> it's a stupid way to tantrum. You don't even know how to tantrum like a regular kid. You have to look cute. Get out! Go with grandma. <laughs> Bye bye. <laughs> You're gonna hurt grandma. Get up. Oh my god. Okay. Well, what I wanted to show you was um, this is the guest guest bathroom, our second guest bathroom. This is the thing I just bought the curtain. And then this is the liner. If you don't really know what the liner is for, it's because as you can tell, this is cloth. So this stays pretty, but this is what catches all the water so that it doesn't mess this part up. So you get two of them so that it doesn't look like this. I mean, if this is your style, then cool. Cool, I mean, go for it, but it's not mine. Yep, there it is. Oh my God, that kid. And then this is the toilet paper roll holder I was telling you about that I got, that I showed you like five seconds ago. I like leaving this shit open. It scares me. I've watched too many damn scary movies to want to do that. My brother installed the bidet for us here like over the weekend. And then here are the towels. So it gives it a little bit of color. I'm still not done. I want to add some more crap too here, but you get the idea for now. 
Oh, come on. You were walking the whole way. Go. Puntelos. I didn't even tell him to put it on. And he just put it on himself and was walking. <laughs> oh, ow. Why did you do that? <laughs> okay, okay. Cut it out. Cut it out. Cut it out. Damn it, I was trying to pretend like I wasn't recording anymore. He's too smart. Just when I was feeling invincible, I tried installing the nest in our room. Hold up. And it gives me, fuck, it's really bright. Okay, it's not gonna happen. Anyway, it just gives me an error here. That right there. <sighs> okay, well. Okay, thank you. Okay, bye. Bye. No, why? You didn't do why. Yeah. Damn it. I'm so frustrated. I was doing so good, and then it just stopped. And I was working really good before. Come on. Don't do that. Don't do that. Taika. Excuse me. Why do I have to, like, yell at you all the time? Please. Leave it alone. Let's go. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Theo's gone. He was talking to his uncle on the phone. You're such a liar. <laughs> All right, well. While all that was happening, Papa's been cooking up some dinner for us. The Phantom of Three is insane. It's like a, you're getting sucked into space, but you can't get anything. Oh, it is. I can see the... Isn't that crazy? Yeah, the whole house doesn't smell. Yeah. Careful. Awesome. Yeah, he's making broccolini and some steak. What else are you doing? That's it? Yeah. Oh, and rice? Right. Thank you. You're welcome. I love you. Love you. I'm so frustrated right now. I'm sorry, Mama. I was I doing so I good. I know you're doing so good. You did the doorbell. You did that one. You even did the doggy door. You're on a roll. You did so good. You got this new handy woman vibe going on. You oh, know, my God. Did it stop your momentum? Oh, yeah. yeah like what did he do? <laughs> Taika! <laughs> Get... <laughs> ¿Quién hizo esto? ¿Quién hizo eso? <laughs> it is your ball. That's not supposed to be outside. Don't do that. Okay, we're definitely going to lose this boy. Get ready for the vlog in the future. I can already see it happening. We've lost Taika. That's what's gonna happen because this fool's gonna get creative and he's gonna run away. But I'm still so frustrated. Well, that's why I was talking to my brother when you guys saw Taika talking on FaceTime. Um, and he's coming on Thursday. Today's Tuesday. Yeah, I just won't be in that room. It's so frustrating. It's okay, but it was just working fine. That's just crazy. I failed yet again. I didn't vlog Papa's food, but it was so fucking bomb. I wish you guys could have tried it. It was so tender, perfectly seasoned, super soft, fatty, and delicious. I can show what it looked like before. Oh, you took a picture? No, this is, well, I do have a uh, picture, but this is what we got from H Mart. So if you want to eat the same steak from H Mart, it's this one. I tried the Chuck Eye Roll USDA Prime. It was so good. I'm going to buy this one for sure again. This is, to me, even better than ribeye. And I can show you what it looks like when I was cooking. It was bomb. And your presentation was really good, too. I'm just going to wait for the picture, but... Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Looks pretty bad in that big Oh, damn, okay. 
Okay, grill master. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> All right, guys. So, um. That's <sighs> it. <laughs> yeah, um, so. it's just one of those days, you guys. I think Papa's gonna opt to give me a massage. I'm opting for it. You. Or you're you opting. Just, no, it. you. You volunteered to give me yes, a massage. I did, I did. You opted to give me a massage, and I opted to receive a massage. Okay. You trying to give me more of a bad day? No, never ever. Fine. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Adios.